Yo, this is Underscore, welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we're going to be jumping into Ableton to flip another Indian sample. Let's get straight into it. Underscore. Okay, so the plan today is to flip another Indian sample from a Bollywood track. And today the soundtrack we're gonna use is from a film called Dal uh, from 1999. Now I've not seen this film in many years, but it's something I've always remembered because the soundtrack is absolutely stunning. And growing up, it's something we would listen to in the car a lot. So here's some of the tracks we've been listening to. And, and the main parts that we're gonna sample from this are from this track, Kariyana and Dal Setal, which is the main track. Excuse my pronunciation. I can't speak Punjabi or Hindi to save my life. Okay, so we're just gonna drag in the tracks that we've got to work with here and make sure that we can just listen through to them completely and take out any elements that we wanna use that we find interesting, basically. So instantly I think that we've got something really cool we can do the percussion on this one uh, from the beginning we can just literally take out our opening couple of bars and use that as a percussive loop which will just add a lot of texture to anything that we're going to do. So we're just going to cut that down I think that's the only bit from this that we'd want to use. So the next one is this I'm not even going to attempt to uh, pronounce that one. So once again really cool there's a really good percussion sound in that like a shaker that goes throughout most of the track which we could definitely use so now the next track is the main one from the soundtrack and the movie but the main part that i want to use is not really usable because there's some heavy drums underneath <laughs> Now it's really epic, but because of the drums on this, I wouldn't be able to do too much without a lot of processing. Fortunately, I found the studio a cappella on YouTube. So we're just gonna drag that in and I'll show you what that sounds like by itself. <laughs> So now what we want to do is figure out a sort of tempo to work at and then we can start processing these samples into you know, usable aspects of the beat. <laughs> I think next we're going to put on some Timeless, which I've been using a lot lately. Okay, so I think we're going to go straight into the bass first because I sort of have an idea of what I want with like a really deep sub bass. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna play in something that follows a dark progression. That's where I wanna go with this. I wanna find a way to make it really trippy, really dark, have a lot of fun and experiment with it quite a bit. <laughs> So you can hear instantly just that progression makes it quite dark and using that sort of bass sound has instantly sort of just created the vibe that I want and the atmosphere. So I want to go back to that other sample now and see if there's something we can do to make that fit in. Cool. 
So we're going to drag that out the way because we want to use that in bridges or parts where the main acapella isn't playing. Just going to delete that and use this perk sound only. And we'll use that as a sort of snare sound. So we're just going to copy that over like so. Just put it a ton of reverb, a bit of delay on there too. So you can just see some really basic chords just following the bass line that we did. It's only three chords. We're just basically doing the triad, which is these three notes. Then I've added the octave to give it some depth. And then we just added the fifth of the octave. So we've layered them nice and thickly, just giving it a lot of texture. So I'm gonna see if we can incorporate this loop as a sort of percussion now. maybe some half time on there because it's a little bit too fast and high pitched at the moment. It works as a nice sort of background percussive loop now. Okay, so we're just opening on this sphere up. Gives it a really cool sort of weekend vibe, you know, it's a really cool detail, like a production detail that I think will fit in. So what I'm going to do now is start arranging it because I feel like this has made a really cool build up and intro and I want this sort of track to be really progressive, start building layers and you know just adding to the atmosphere, getting more intense. So I think that we don't want the bass to come in initially, we'll take that out. We want it to start off with the chords and we'll take out the percussion layer there and we'll take out that high pitch sound. And I feel like I'm going to do a lot of cool things with Shaper Box in this. It's going to be quite important to make some you know variations in the sample but for now we're just going to turn it off in the intro. See if we take this part out. I think we could do something really cool with this bit here. So I'm going to chop it up, put that there, copy this over. How do you do a drop? We're gonna just put in a bunch of like crashes and effects and stuff like that. Let's start putting in some snares. Will be a little bit sparse just to allow all the other percussion to go crazy and wild with the rolls and whatnot. Boom, chick, chick, boom, ch, boom, boom, ch. Not 
bad, eh? We're definitely getting there. So next I'm just gonna add in another MIDI layer just to, you know, add more pads and chords. A massive is sort of really easy VST for synth sounds, I find. Everything legato, so just make the note extend all the way. On this I want a sort of gating effect, maybe like a rhythmic. So we're just gonna play around with different presets on Volcano here. I think that is exactly what we need right there. So we're going to try the 808 now, and for this I think we just need to uh, basically do the same bass line we did before the drop. So I'm just going to copy over this. And I think that's definitely the right notes, so we're just following the chord progression again, and we just want to find the sort of right rhythm for it now. So I think that we've got enough to arrange this out into a full track. I'm going to add a few tiny elements and do some cool tricks in the final version probably. And we'll see how it turns out. So thanks again for watching. Really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed today's flip. I know it was a little bit weirder and stranger than usual. But it's nice to try things differently a lot of the times. Instead of sticking to the same genres. And using the same sort of techniques and processes with whatever you're doing. If you have any recommendations or things to flip or sample. Let me know. You can always send me a DM on Insta. These are my socials, so make sure you give me a follow, DM me any requests or anything like that. Please make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content, really do appreciate it. Otherwise, have a good one. Peace out.